Hello everyone, my name is Bing Hu. I come from Fudan University, China. It's my pleasure to present our work entitled Predicting Change Propagation Between Code Clone Instances by Growth-Based Deep Learning. My presentation will start with a motivation example, followed by the approach and model, and then the evaluation of the approach. Finally, is the conclusion. Researchers agree that code clone bring extra maintenance effort to developers because of the necessity of simultaneous changes between clone instances. Here is a clone group containing three clone instances. These three instances changed consistently at commit 2. At commit 3, only two of them consistently changed. At commit 4, instance 2 changed separately. Here is an example from Tomcat. We find that for a specific clone group, not all clone instances need consistently changed. In fact, it happens that some changes need to be propagated to the other clone instances while some other changes needn't. Change propagation requirement is likely related to the text, structure, and the context of the changes in the clone code. In the previous work, clone instances were recognized as a whole. All instances, all changes happened in a clone instance need propagated to the other clone instances. At the same time, evolution information is needed for a newly created clone or new code repository without genealogy information. We cannot predict the change propagation requirement by this kind of, of approach. So in, in this paper, we try to overcome these problems. No evolutionary features were needed. Prediction was not based on clone instance or clone group, but on change. For a clone instance, one change need, propag need propagate to other instances. The other change may not. We construct a large-scale dataset containing 24,672 pairs of propagated changes, 38,041 non-propagated changes. Then, we proposed a new representation of the clone pair along with the change on one of its instances. We call it Fused Clone Program Dependency Graph, short for F FCPDG. At the same time, we design a, a, graph a graph network based on relational graph convolution network. It takes FCPDG as input and outputs a change propagation requirement. FCPDG is constructed as follows. For a clone pair together with the changes in one instance, we have two pieces of source code of the clone pair and one piece of code that stands for the clone instance after being changed. We transform each piece of code into a PDG, and thus we have three PDGs, as shown in the left-hand subfigure. S1 denotes clone instance 1, S2 denotes instance 2, and S1 ap apostrophe denotes the source code after S1 changed. Then, we establish node mappings between these PDGs based on traditional diff algorithm, thus getting a mapped PDG graph. Finally, we merge the mapped nodes. If the mapped nodes are the same, each node is labeled with an existence vector, indicating whether the node exists in S1, ST, or S1 apostrophe. Here is the structure of our network. We first use CodeBird to generate embedding for each node in the FCPDG. Along with the three-dimension existence vector, each node is represented by a 771-dimension vector. Then, we, we feed the embedding into a relational graph convolution network to get a 400-dimension vector. Finally, a fully connected layer was used to convert the 400-dimension vector to a two-dimension vector. We did an, a research to evaluate our approach. 
to the best of our knowledge, there is no other approach that predicts change propagation requirements to act as a baseline. However, we managed to implement four alternatives for comparison. Overall, our approach configured at, st at standard mode outperforms other models according to the F1 score. Here shows the propagation requirement prediction results for three Java projects. These projects are comparatively large, popular open source projects. For all projects, the average precision, recall, and F1 score is above 0.75. The prediction model shows no significant differences among these projects. We, we also studied how the hyperparameters impact the effectiveness. We tuned the number of hidden layers and the dimension of the hidden layers of the relational growth convolution network. Results show that two hidden layers and the 400 dimension of the hidden layer is the optimization configuration. We get the following conclusion. We constructed a large-scale dataset of clone pair with propagated and non-propagated changes which can be used for further studies. FCPDG is capable to represent the code change in clone instance together with its contextual information. The growth network, based on relational growth convolution network, is effective to predict change propagation requirement. Our future work includes extending and optimizing the data for higher quality data and try to extend our technique for clone change synchronization. That is all. Thank you.